Good morning. Today we're going to talk about construction workers. And this is called Pete the Cat, Construction Destruction, and it was written by James Dean. Recess, Pete shouts as the bell rings. But when Pete gets outside to play, oh no, the playground is a disaster. The swings are broken, the slide is rusty, and the sandbox is full of weeds. That doesn't look like a very fun playground. Pete makes plans for a new playground. Wow, says Principal Nancy. Can you really build that? Not by myself, says Pete. I'm going to need some help. Whatever you need, Pete, it's yours. The next day, Pete arrives at the playground before school. The construction crew is already there. He gives them the go-ahead to tear down the old playground. Creak, crash, clink, clink. Down go the slides. Down go the swings. Bang, boom. Down goes the tower. Honk, honk. A trunk arrives to recycle the metal. Rumble, rumble, honk, honk. The new playground equipment has arrived. It's time to get to work. The cement mixer will pour concrete. The dump truck will bring sand and dirt. The backhoe will dig, and the whole team will get the job done. Clunk, whack, thud. Building a playground is hard work. The new playground is cool, but it's not cool enough. What do you think? Pete asks, holding up his latest plans. It will be too hard to build, says one of the workers. And everything is almost finished, says another. But it will make this the best playground ever, Pete says. Then let's do it, the workers say. Screwdrivers twist in screws. Wrenches tighten the nuts. And the workers try to make everything perfect. Hooray! The new playground is ready. Everyone is amazed until creak, creak, creak. Uh-oh. Smash, crunch, thud. Oh no, says Principal Nancy as the new playground crashes to the ground. The pieces are all mixed up. Everyone is disappointed, except for Pete. It's not how we planned it, Pete shouts. It's even better. This playground is filled with surprises and places to explore. The school playground is the most amazing playground ever. Sometimes you've got to dare to dream big. Me and If you could build anything, what would you want to build, friends? All right, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye, friends.